Um, hey guys, I'm going to teach you a technique about water marbling, and so your fingernail will look like my thumb. Very cool, very easy, and all you need is like five things to do it, and your nails will turn out like they were done at a professional place. But no, it was just like a water nail polish. So I'm going to teach you this. The only thing you need is you need a, j a jar or like a glass bowl, which I am using. Um, like safety pins. Like or pins. I'm using a pin that's used so like actually. Um, you need tape, white nail polish, and your colors, of course. And I don't know what else. So today I'm gonna do my middle fingers. And but first, what you need to do, you need to paint a white coat on your nails, like mine. And after they're completely dry, you want to use tape. You need, and I need three pieces. And you want to take your finger just the guy I'm doing right now. Right below your cuticle line. And you want to get another piece. And you want to kind of put it on the edge and make it back. And then you want to turn it onto the other edge of it. Then you want another little piece of nothing to do. Try to just the side. Then you want to put the upper edge of your nail on. So you want to make sure that you not touch your nail, I mean your nail anywhere. So like this. The reason you want to take is just because you will get excess nail polish on your skin and it takes forever to remove the nail polish remover. So with the tape you can just peel it off and you don't have to do any um, use any nail polish Unless you miss like a couple spots while you're teasing, then you should be fine. Alright, so to, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, you want to shake your colors first before you use them because you don't want them all clumpy. You want them thin and like light. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the dark blue sparkly. Just let that drop in. I call this design peacock feathers because they kind of do look like peacock feather feathers if you look at them. Because it's like blue, then orange and silver, and it's kind of in layers. So now I am going to use my silver. And as you can see, it's spreading out like really nicely. So I'm going to use my orange. Then I'm going to use my dark blue again. This may get a lot of nail polish on it. It kind of, it sometimes gets frustrating, but it doesn't really matter. Then you want to do another silver, like a silvery color. And then you want to do another orange. Then you want to do another blue just to top it off. Alright, and after that you take your needle and you kind of want to make a flower design. Like, not a flower design, but like bring it in like this. See how it kind of looks like a flower? Not like a real flower, but you know what I mean, right? I hope you do. Alright, and after you like, do it done, um, find a place where you want to dip your finger in. And I think I'm going to dip my finger in about maybe um, right here in this area, like over here on the outside. So I'm going to dip it there. And then you take your needle and you take, you remove all the excess nail polish around it. So it doesn't do any design. You want to slowly remove it. After you remove your tape, you remove your design. 
show it off to your friends, and everyone will be like, everybody will be doing it. You will be a trendsetter. And there you have it. It's pretty fun. Nice, easy design that everyone did. There's my thumb. Well, thanks for watching this tip, and I hope you will do it.